Now, Singapore is doubling down on what's called geospatial technology or advanced mapping tools that rely on satellites to drive its green and digital economy growth. Among others, the Singapore Land Authority, or SLA, says the technology can be used to help self-driving cars and logistic companies pinpoint more exact locations for shorter routes. can also reveal the most cost-effective place for solar panels to help the country reach its renewable energy goals. Urban planners can also use data to map population density to better locate amenities such as social service centres and make sure these reach the right people. Now here to tell us why this tech matters for future cities is Chief Executive of the SLA, Mr Colin Lowe. Mr Lowe, uh, nice to have you with us. Uh, first of all, uh, the technology sounds limitless in its use but speak to our audience who is just the man on the street, the average Singaporean, about why they should care about this technology for future cities today. Thanks, Jill. In fact, uh, I'm about one year and a half into this role. When I first heard of the term geospatial, it sounded like uh, a combination of geography and outer space, and I completely dismissed it. And I suspect I'm not alone. Now, the term geospatial may sound fancy, but it is really all about location-based data and map data. Many people are unaware, but geospatial information and technology is already widely used in many aspects of our lives. For example, when we look at our digital maps, when you use your phone to navigate, to, your, to find your nearest restaurants, your meeting locations, you're actually using geospatial, using positioning systems such as GNSS, in Global Navigation Satellite System, another fancy term, um, food delivery, online shopping services, and remember the Pokemon Go craze not too long ago? Mm. All these are solutions underpinned by geospatial. Now, you ask the question, how, how do not ordinary people benefit properties? A very Singaporean pastime. You know, one example is that most people will relate to is having data on property prices surrounding a specific location. Now, these have been made available on SLA's One Map. This is a national map of Singapore. It is a mobile app. You can download it for free. Potential home buyers can simply load up the application on their phone and view nearby amenities, parks, schools, shopping malls, and even check the latest transacted property prices all on a single platform. Last year, we took this step one step further with a launch of a 3D version. Now, with this, home buyers and property agents can even check out window views from a 10th floor, from a 30th floor, how it looks like, and shadow casting at different times of the day on a specific property without even taking a step outdoor. Now, I'm sure there are parents that are listening in. There's also a school query function on one map that allows a quick view of all primary schools near a property. And if I were to take the discussion further, if we were to drill it down to what we call hyper-local data, we can have data such as routes that are faster, sheltered, good for the kids, or locations of ramps and slopes yeah. that could be used for barrier-free routing services. This is a feature that we are working on and I think would help persons with mobility issues tremendously. And as there, there was a previous uh, news story about... Sorry, go ahead. As please. you've well explained, there are multiple uses that we are engaging in now without even knowing it as, as everyday citizens. But for you, Absolutely. as the head of SLA, you have to be really intentional about how you use this technology. So tell us a bit more about uh, some of the problems that you think this technology can come alongside and solve. Yeah, I think geospatial can be an enabler for sustainability issue. Case in point, climate change. Uh, we, we, are, we are Singapore, we're a small country with limited land. We're especially vulnerable to climate change. We've seen headlines of temperature records being broken all over the world. And even for us in Singapore, we've had uh, 35 degrees, 36 degrees weather for the last two, three weeks. Why? Because we are highly urbanized. It means more heat is trapped by our built environment. Now, one of the ways that we could alleviate this is through effective planning of solutions, such as green buildings, better placement and orientation of buildings, centralized district cooling, so and so forth. But how do we do this? One effective way that SLA has done is to use geospatial technology by using 3D digital twin of Singapore. Now, with this 3D digital twin, it allows decision makers and planners to visualize, identify the locations that receive the most sunlight and best plan um, you know, the, the buildings. The, the second thing, we are also an island. So sea level rises makes us very vulnerable. So we've got to challenge this. We're going to use geospatial data 
to actually allow us to protect ourselves better. Mr. Law, you've explained uh, the advantages uh, so well. I wish you luck tomorrow in your uh, lecture. Mr. Thank Colin Lowe, CEO of the Singapore Land Authority, speaking with us.